about the trade ride. Right? Recently, my sister and I got together, and we wanted to take Mom and Dad on a train ride in the Big South Fork National Park, maybe give them a day out away from the hustle and bustle of their home life in the country. You get to take the tour and golf carts they provide you. There's me and Mom. Hello, Mom. Here's Brandon, Hannah, and little Zoe. But you take almost the entire tour on these golf carts. It's great. I mean, anything you can think of that they used in deep mining and some strip mining, they have it here at this museum. There's also a deep mine that you can take a tour in. I think you go back in 300 feet. We decided not to take that little tour. But the tour guide had some great stories. Other mines in different areas, they use, sometimes use mules, donkeys, and even oxen sometimes dad would take over and he'd start giving the tour as you can tell our tour guide was just absolutely loving that now him and dad got along great and they were swapping stories the entire time. Uh, like I said, they've got everything you could think of that they'd use in these mines. Uh, and inside the home as well. As you can see there's refrigerators, washing machines, sewing machines, firefighting equipment, uh, there's hard hats, lamps, locks, clothing, just anything. They've got it there. Uh, I think mom and dad were really nostalgic about this part. Uh, they probably used a lot of this stuff when they were kids. We were talking about the Coal Wars and our tour guide told us about this really fascinating story. In 1908 was the first time they tried to organize at Stearns. Well, the union organizers were actually staying at the Stearns Hotel mm -hmm. and the company owned it. And the, the company found out they were staying there. So they tried to run them out and, and never could. They actually had a shootout and everything. But they figured the only way to get them out of there is burn it. So they actually burnt their own hotel down just to get rid of it. Uh -huh. And a couple of them got killed. They killed a couple of other people. But that's how strong the company was against unions. Right. It's just like Harlan. I mean, it's... You know. These are camp houses that you can rent staying overnight. They're modeled after the old camp houses, but they're modernized with central heat and air and things like that. Dad said that he found a spot that looked really interesting. Come back and get them in an hour. But you can see the walls lined with newspapers, just like they had back in the old days. Now about this point, one of the golf carts broke down, so I decided to give those a little less fortune and a little help. Get moving! Pick up the pace! Pick those knees up! I can be extremely helpful at times. Uh, this is a combination of schoolhouse, church, I don't know if those actually were like that back in the day, but it worked well with this one. This was absolutely my favorite part, the old general store. I, I could have spent days and days looking around in this place. After the great little concert, it was time to board the train and head to Blue Heron Mining Camp. Right here, place to shoot. 
Uh, those that have seen my other videos know that Blue Heron, the National Park, has built ghost houses where the uh, former houses stood in this coke camp. And you can listen to recordings of the actual in inhabitants that used to live there. But the day was at an end and it was time to get back on the train and head back home.